IF1 2024 Chinese Grand Prix Driver Ratings. Okay, so we're doing it to bed early. Normally we do these on Tuesday, but I'm like, you know, let's just do them on Monday, get it out of the way. And yeah. Let's start off with Kevin Magnuson then. Started P17, or whatever, finished P15. 5 out of 10. With a real scrapper race for Magnuson. Of course, he punted Sonoda out of the race. You know, it's just a real. Magnuson is really. Kind of like, you know, one of the Latifis of the season. Him and Stroll are kind of like dominating that. That network. Anyway, it's his teammate now, Nico Hulkenberg, 30 P9, finished P10. 9 out of 10. I was thinking I'd give him a 10. Maybe I should have. Did, did, did the job once again, qualified super well, and got another crucial point for half. Anyways, now to Sauber now. Shogun, you started, I think, P16. Finished P14. 6 out of 10. Nothing really more he could have done. I do think he did disappoint a bit in qualifying, but. You have to. Sauber. But yeah, this is hot in his home race, and he's not DNF. Bottas has 30 P10, finished DNF. I'm still gonna give Bottas a 7 out of 10. I honestly think if he didn't DNF, he would have scored points. He would have been in the fight for Hulkenberg, with Hulkenberg for points. Like, he was looking good at that point as well. Anyways, let's go to Williams now. No, v -Cop. I was gonna do both of these real quickly. Ricardo started P12, finished DNF, 7 out of 10. He was having a good race. I think he could have been that battle for points as well. Then he just got yeeted by Stroll, for not the same thing. Not, but for was way worse. This was a, probably a shocking weekend for him. Out in Q1 in both qualifying sessions. It's bad enough when you're out in Q1 in both qualifying sessions in a car that shouldn't be. Cause like, come on, you have two chances and you mess up both of them. But yeah. Anyways, to Williams now, Logan Sargent started P20, finished P17, I'm gonna give him a 6 out of 10, that's quite, quite surprising. But, Logan had a decent pace. Yes? Okay, maybe, I'll, maybe I'm smoking or something, but... Yes, he was kinda out of sync of pace stops, but he was running, he was running P9 at one point. On the soft. And he was making some pretty good moves, some pretty good defense. Sadly, he did that, you know, move on Hulkenberg that gave, that gave him the penalty. But, it's kind of the same thing as Japan, to be honest. Like, Logan would be like P11. Then when he has to pit again. After that. After he pits, he would just not have any pace. I don't know what happens. Anyways, let's go to his teammate now, Alex Salborn. Started P12. You know, started big P14 of it. Yes, finished P12. 7 out of 10 for Albono. Decent race. So Williams didn't have pace to get points. Because he was still like 2 seconds off Hulkenberg. We won a great race from Williams. But he's much better than they did in qualifying and in the sprint. Anyways, to Alpine now. Pure Gasly started P15. Finished P13. 5 out of 10 for Gasly. It was a really scrappy weekend for Gasly. He was getting in a lot of situations and stuff. Gasly just not really looked too good this season, to be honest. Which is kind of surprising, because he beat Alcon last season. But I don't think that's going to happen this season. Speaking of Alcon now, also I spelled Gasly wrong. Alcon. Started P13. Finished P11. It's going to be surprising. 8 out of 10 for Alcon. Almost caught points in the Alpine. Alpine were actually looking good this weekend. And he almost caught points. He was still probably like two seconds off Hulkenberg, but... He was close. He was running in the points at some point, and he got to Q3. Both of them got to Q3. I mean, not Q3, Q2. But yeah, Alpine looking a bit better. Now let's go up to Aston Martin now. Uh, this is where he gets interesting. Lance Stroll started P11. Finished. P16. 
I have gone for a whopping 1 out of 10. He is lucky. Because honestly, I was going to just give him a... I was just not going to care and I was just going to give him a 0 out of 10 to be honest. What on earth? How the heck did he not see Ricardo? I just wanted to even know... Like, how did he not see Ricardo? Or anybody? But he has so much space, and then he had the audacity to blame it on Ricardo as well. Lance should not be an F1. Anyways, back to Alonso now. Started P3, finished P7. Oh, I didn't even read Alonso. I'm going to give Alonso um, an 8 out of 10 anyways, because great pace. Sadly, that soft tire kind of didn't, wasn't going to work in the long run anyways. I'm glad he pitted though, because it, it probably would have been worse. Or maybe better if he would have, you know. If he would have stayed on the soft tire, tried to see what happened. Yeah, I don't think that would have been a very good idea, in my opinion. Oh, it's Mercedes now. Wait, no, McLaren, sorry. Piastri started... Oh, well, start, he started P... Behind Norris, so P7. Finished P8, 6, 7, 10 for Piastri. Didn't have to pay the Lando. Had that damage, of course. Which isn't his fault, or isn't Ricardo's. But yeah, he still held off Hamilton, so that's why I'm giving him a 6 out of 10. But he just wasn't really on the pace of speaking of Norris anyways. Speaking of Norris, started P6, finished P3, 9 out of 10. He did not expect to get a podium, no one expected him to get a podium. But yeah, he was technically in the second fastest car. So yeah, good job to Lando Norris. Alright, Ferrari now, assigned, started P7, finished P5, 7 out of 10. He's, he's lucky, because he probably would have to do a combat during the Hamilton. He crashed in Q2. Managed to get it going again, so he's lucky. Oh, he's pretty lucky. So Leclerc started P3, finished P4, 8 out of 10. Had the, had the better in science this weekend, for once. Couldn't catch Norris or Perez. Yeah, Ferrari just surprisingly had, didn't have much pace in the McLaren. Anyways. My cities now, Russell finished, started P8, finished P6. I'm actually gonna go with a 7 out of 10 for Russell. Okay, Mercedes didn't look too badly. It would have been interesting to see where Hamilton would have finished if he, like, made it into Q3. But yeah, Russell's doing the bits in Mercedes. They've, they've definitely extended a bit, well, probably because of Stroll, but. They've extended a bigger gap over Aston. It was like one point, and they've extended it to like eight points or something like that. But yeah, Russell's been doing too badly in the championship. Now let's go to Hamilton. Started P18, finished P9. I'm going to give Hamilton a 6. Wasn't a good weekend. If it was just off the sprint, it would probably honestly... If it was just off the sprint race, it would probably be a 10, to be honest. But to have that high and then have that low... At least he made it back to P9. He's lucky for a safety car. Honestly, I felt like at one point he wasn't going to get points. But honestly, the Merc look tends to look way better at the closing stages of the race. But he couldn't even catch Piastri, and Piastri had damage. So that's kind of embarrassing a bit, not gonna lie. But yeah, at least he finished in the points, got another two points. Come on, Hamilton, you can stop getting two points. But hey, at least the sprint. He gave him 7 points, so he, so he didn't lose out too much. He didn't lose out too much. He's still in, uh, ninth in the championship, which isn't good, but he's close to 8th. Anyways, next up, Red Bull, Sergio Perez, started P3, finished P3. I didn't even rate him either. Uh, 7 out of 10 for Sergio Perez. Why didn't he get Lando Norris? I don't know. Yeah, let's just go on, I guess. Anyways, number one, Max Verstappen. P1 to P1. 10 out of 10, of course. Just dominated. Like, without, with the safety card, still dominated by like 10 or so seconds. 
it's just crazy at this point. And yeah, will Max be stopped again? Be our pace. Everything I drive a race, tell me all you guys think. And yeah, we got Miami up next. Just a sprint weekend. Finally, I won't have to be getting up early for a Grand Prix. Or staying up late. But yeah, Miami. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed these drive ratings a bit earlier than usual. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.